I know some great websites with really useful information that's being updated all the time. How can I keep up with it? Well, have you ever seen this icon before? This is RSS, and it can help bring new content to you as soon as it appears on your favourite sites. I have heard of RSS, but it sounds a bit technical. Am I really going to be able to use it? There's nothing complicated about using RSS. Here's how it works. First, you need to find some relevant feeds. Most websites offer them, and usually flag them up with the RSS icon. Once you start looking for this, you might be surprised how often you'll see it, from journals to blogs and social media sites. Now, to make use of an RSS feed, you'll need an RSS reader, like Google Reader, NetVibes or NewsGator. But these are just web services that you access through your browser, and they're pretty simple to use. Your feed reader allows you to subscribe to the RSS feed. That creates a link between the site and your reader. When you subscribe to the feed, your reader displays the latest content of the site in a simplified format. You can think of this as the site headlines. Let's take a real life example. The BBC News site provides lots of information that's frequently updated. If we subscribe to this in our feed reader, we get the site headlines. This shows a summary of each story with a link back to the full item on the BBC site. OK, so how is this better than just bookmarking a page? Well, RSS is a way of subscribing to a site. So what's displayed in your feed reader is dynamic, not static content. That means that when a site you subscribe to releases some new content, it will automatically appear in your feed reader, so you don't have to keep checking sites for new content manually. That's becoming more important, as so many people are publishing content through social media. RSS feeds let you track where new photos appear on sites like Flickr, or new bookmarks are added to Delicious. OK, but there's a lot of stuff on those sites I'm not interested in. Do I have to subscribe to everything? No, you can subscribe to just the content you're interested in. For example, from selected individuals or content described with a specific tag. But isn't it going to be hard to add all those different feeds to my reader? Feed readers are designed to help you aggregate feeds from all your favourite sites into one place. Some services, like NetVibes and iGoogle, can act as portals, providing a single point of access to everything on the web. They even offer widgets so that you can post content to web services as well as simply reading it. Ah, OK. Instead of visiting ten websites every morning, now I only have to visit one. Exactly. So now you know how RSS can help you, why not get started by adding those ten sites to a feed reader?